Hi guys, as you all know, we have switched to Dota 2 Reborn, uh, the Source 2 client for Dota 2. And there are a couple of changes that I wanted to talk to you guys about in terms of options and console. So console, previously it was pretty mandatory if you wanted to change some settings, but now there's only a few things that you can do in the console that you can't actually do in the options menu. But firstly, if you want to enable the console, just set a hotkey. Mine is left bracket. A lot of people use the tilde key, which is right next to your one key, uh, but I actually use that for my team chat and console. I like to assign to a key that I'm very unlikely to actually press in a game. So with left console, you can bring it up. And the only one that I actually use is Dota Minimap Hero Size 1200. I believe default is 600. So this makes it twice as big. It makes it easier for me to notice things on the minimap. If you want to figure out where to put your auto exec file, your new auto exec file, you can Google that. Uh, you just copy paste it over and then you edit a line um, in one of the text files and then it will automatically run for you. But as of now, there is no automatically run executable file for, or sorry, config file for or Dota 2, so you'll have to manually add that in. Uh, fortunately, there's a lot of options that you don't actually have to put in the console anymore. Firstly is the show ability range finder while casting. This one will have a green arrow from your character towards your target uh, whenever you want to cast a spell that is point target. Um, another one is forced right click attack. This one uh, when you want to deny a creep, generally you have to press attack and then uh, left click on the unit, but now you can just right click on it without having to put in the uh, extra keystroke of that attack key. There's also the quick attack, which is very similar to quick cast, except it's just with attacking. And uh, also display network information. This one will have the FPS and ping and loss in the packet loss in the top right corner of your screen. So you don't have to fiddle around with the net graph in the console like you did before. Uh, a lot of people ask me about my camera settings. I use around 4,500 for my camera speed and 50 for camera deceleration. Uh, also, a new thing that is in Reborn is actually having the ability to demo heroes. Uh, let me choose a hero that has something that I can point cast with. I will choose Clockwork. So you just click on the hero, you click Demo Hero, and it'll automatically set you up in like a semi-cheat game where you can level up your hero and you can uh, do cool stuff very, very simply. So level up to max and it automatically skills up all your spells and whoops, I already have quick cast on that. Um, if I don't have quick cast on it, then it'll have an arrow that will show you where your ability goes. And as far as I know, it will be global, although I might not be able to hook this far. It will still have that uh, arrow shown. This is, again, pretty useful if you have a really long range spell. So that one is the show ability range finder while casting. And the display network information over here is on the top right of the screen. It'll show your FPS, ping, and loss in this convenient little position over here. Uh, so those are the main options that are in the Dota 2 Reborn client that weren't available in the Source 1 client. Again, if you have uh, really, really uh, niche stuff that you want to edit, you can just set that in your auto exec to have it load upon every uh, Dota 2 startup. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe at youtube.com slash Dota. Hit that subscribe yeah. button. And we all anticipate 6.85 to come out this week, and the patch uh, analysis will be up shortly after they are released. So thank you guys. Have a good one.